sky again and say, I am Tutu the Prince! I am awesome! <laughs> and then... He fell. Again. Except this time he landed on a princess. And then they fell in love. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Now it's your turn, Sandra. My story starts off in the big city, an industrial wasteland, fueled by nefarious politicians and driven by a sadistic fighting organization. In a dark alleyway, a thug throws a man named Jake against the wall and punches him in the face. I don't think I really like this story. Shut up, you had your turn. This is mine. Well, what's the story even called? Am I being rude? Yeah, I guess I am. I should probably offer him one. Wait, what the hell am I doing? Todd would kill... Great. Now I look like an asshole. I mean, who does that? Who goes to offer something and then takes it back? I guess I do. I'm the asshole. So sorry, Todd. Todd. Too damn cocky, man. Cock of the woke, baby. Seriously though, how long do you think it'll take me to win this one? You have to be careful. Remember who you're going up against? Haha, <laughs> who? Leon? He's a chump, bro. Yeah, well that chump's brother is the one who runs all this. So don't go popping off at your mouth like you usually do. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Those goosenecks ain't got shit on us, bro. Todd, I'm fucking serious. These goosenecks are no joke, and they're not gonna hesitate to put you down. Todd, listen, I promised mom and dad I'd always look after you and keep you safe. So just promise me you're not going to be stupid out there tonight. All right, Jake. I promise. Thank you. But you promise me you'll protect him. <laughs> yeah, sure, I promise. Okay. Challenger side, we have Mr. Todd Robinson. Yeah. All right, all right, show us some love. Now on the defender side, we have our reigning champ, Mr. Leon Gooster. Yeah. All right, all right. Now before we get this fight underway, let us take a moment to. Thank our gracious host, Mr. Sven Gooseneck, for using his own money for this year's grand prize. Whoops, that. That's Sven, he's, he's bad. Fighters to the center of the ring. All right, you boys should know the rules by now, but I'm gonna explain one more time. Fighters may only have one foot on the ground. You may switch legs at any given point as long as one foot still touches the ground. First fighter to have both feet touch the ground or falls over loses. Now assume attack stance. Attack!
Yeah, he's dead. And then Sven says, get that pile of trash out of my ring. You damn Robinsons. Always thinking you can take on the world. <laughs> what the hell is this? This is his, isn't it? I swear I'm gonna kill all of you. See now, Jake? Now I have to have my men get rid of you for making stupid threats like that. Get rid of him. Wait, didn't that already happen? No, I told you that first to create overhang tension about the plot. And then we went back to the beginning, and now we're back where we started. So, now we're at the beginning. No, we're at the middle, which is first at the beginning, but now it's at the middle. Tarantino does this all the time. What's, uh, Tarantino's? <sighs> Gosh, Autumn, I didn't ask for you to explain aviation techniques and prints from your story. Just shut up and listen. So Jake was driving after the goose next when he says, you know damn well what I'm doing. Doing what has to be done. Bunny says. So you're gonna go take on a house full of who knows how many guys and hope they're all just sitting around playing poker and eating cookies? Yeah, that's the plan right now, but... Well, maybe for shits and giggles, you should just pee on them. What? You know, pee, urinate, cover his dead body and piss. I don't know about that. That's, that's just too weird. That's gross. Oh, come on. I don't know, man. He just had your brother killed. He deserves to be peed on. I guess you got a point. Okay, I'll do it. But it's just for you. You gotta promise me you don't tell anyone. Oh, I won't tell anyone. But are you sure you can hold it? You just finished off a big gulp. <laughs> yeah, I can hold it. Are you sure? Yeah, no. No, I can hold it. Wait, he's gonna pee on? Yeah. Meanwhile, at the gooseneck house. <laughs> and then, pow, you knock his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, bro, that's gotta be the fastest you've ever won a tournament. Yeah, no shit, man. What the hell was that movie you threw in at the end? I've never seen that before. I had to put the Robinson in his place. I'm making him an example for everyone to see. An example? An example of what? It's an example of things to come. That's right, Leon. Flamingo fights are changing from here on out. No more low stakes. Everybody that fights has something to lose from now on. That is why we had to kill those arrogant Robinson fucks. You did kill him, didn't you? With all due respect, sir, the phrase get rid of him is pretty vague. With all due respect, I should just get rid of you. And by get rid of, I mean kill the shit out of you. Oh, oh. You two, stay here with this idiot. Leon, come with me. We have business to discuss. I have no idea what's going on right now. Don't interrupt. You're messing with the flow. Man, this is some bullshit. I'm a fighter, not some little babysitter bitch. When the hell have you ever been in a fight? Last night? Who did you fight last night? That douchebag that you guys were supposed to kill. Are you talking about the guy that you hit once he was already unconscious? First of all, he wasn't knocked out yet. He was still moving. And when he went to take a swing at Leon, I did what any good fighter would do, and stepped in to protect my bro. Jesus Christ. Okay, you, you do know that unconscious people still move, right? <laughs> you guys are idiots. No wonder you can't follow simple orders. 
You know what, forget this. I'm going to find Sven. Who the hell is that? How should I know? Go check it out. What the fuck? Is it Jake? seek some sort of vengeance on your brother. I get that. Now I'm here to do the same thing. So I propose we deal with this situation honorably. The one thing about fighting honorably you've never understood is that it'll always screw you over in the end. Maybe screwed, but at least I didn't get nailed. And then peas on it. So Jay grabs his bunny and walks out, and him and the bunny live happily ever after. That doesn't sound very happily ever after. Girls, get down here! The food's on the table! The game has been done! It's drying out! Let's go! 